in this video we will see that how to design a full order circuit using 8 cross 1 multiplexer in the previous video we have discussed that how to design that with a 4 cross 1 multiplexer so let us see that how to design with a 8 cross 1 multiplexer for that i need to write the truth table first so c in sum is there and carry is there so i am writing the sum and carry at a distance so that uh, we can write the uh, y output as well for the multiplexer now the combinations are 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 and 1 1 1 okay so for 0 0 0 sum is 0 carry is 0 for 0 0 1 sum is 1 carry is 0 for 0 1 0 sum is 1 and carry is 0 so here sum will be 0 carry will be 1 then 100 0, 0, sum is 1 carry is 0 101 0, 1, sum is 0 carry is 1 110 1, 0, here 1 and for the last one it will be sum is 1 and carry equals to 1 so we need to design that for a multiplexer now 8 cross 1 multiplexer so i know in a 8 cross 1 multiplexer okay so here I, y1 will be my sum and y2 will be my uh, C out. The, we are considering from 8 cross 1 multiplexer. So, what is a 8 cross 1 multiplexer now? For 8 cross 1 multiplexer, we will have 3 input that is S0, 3 selection line S2 and it will have 7 input lines I0, I1, I2, I3, I4, I5, I6 and I7 will be there. Okay. So, now in 8 cross 1 multiplexer, I know there will be 3 selection lines 0, 0, 0. So, A, B, C is nothing but my 3 selection lines as S0, S1 and S2. So, when the input selection line is 0, 0, 0, my output Y1 uh, means the multiplexer output will be I0. So, multiplexer output will be I0 and what is this value? So, for this particular combination I0 is equals to 0. Similarly, for I1 when the input is 0, 0, 001 my output is equals to 1 for I2 the output is equals to 1 again for I3 the output is equals to 0 so I am taking this as the outputs okay and that I am taking the input to the multiplexer so here I4 will be equals to 1 I5 is equals to 0 I6 is equals to 0 and I7 is equals to 0 similarly we can write the same thing for the carry multiplexer as well so here i1 is equals sorry i0 is equals to 0 i1 is equals to 0 then your i2 is equals to 0 i3 is equals to 1 i4 is equals to 0 i5 is equals to 1 i6 is equals to 1 and your i7 also is equals to 1 here now with this we need to design the full order with 8 cross 1 multiplexer now first we will do the 8 cross 1 multiplexer here Okay, so this will be my sum or that is y1 then another multiplexer will be there for carry as well so this is my y2 or the c out carry so we have three selection lines s0 s1 and s2 here similarly for this one also i need s0 s1 and s2 here fine so the inputs are i0 i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 i6 and your i7 so here also we have i0 i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 i6 and i7 will be there so from the table what i know for sum i0 is equals to 0 so here i will take 0 and here i will take 1 let us say okay so i0 is equals to 0 so 0 will be connected to i0 next i1 is equals to 1 so i1 will be connected to 1 here okay next i2 is equals to 1 so i2 is equals to 1 then i3 is equals to 0 so i3 is equals to 0 i connect that to 0 line then i4 is equals to 1 so i4 is equals to 1 
I connect it to one line. I5 is equals to zero, so I'll connect to zero line. Then I6 also equals to zero. I6 equals to zero, and your I7 is equals to one. Okay, so this is how we can connect the inputs. Next is where the ABC will be connected. So ABC my actual inputs. So C will be connected to S0. B will be connected to S1, and A will be connected to S2. Similarly, the same connection will follow here as well. So A, B, C are connected to H0, S1, and S2 for the second multiplexer. In the second multiplexer, what is the value of I0? So I will take zero here and one here. So I0 is equals to zero. So I0 is connected to zero. I1 is equals to zero. So the same line is connected to I1. I2 is also zero, so I2 is also zero. Then I3 is equals to one, so I3 I will connect to one. Then I4 is equals to zero, so I4 is equals to zero. Then I5, 6, 7 all are one, so here one is there. It is connected to I5, 6 and 7. Okay, so this will give me the carry output. This will give me the sum output. Let us check for any input whether it is true or not. So if I take let's say one zero one, so I know for one zero one. My sum will be equals to zero and carry will be equals to one. So let us check whether it is happening or not. Now one zero one is there. That means S zero is one, S one is two, one S one is zero and S two is one. So when S zero, S one and S two, the value is one zero one. Then what output will get? I will get I five, right? That means y one is equals to I five and y two is also equals to I five. So I five is connected to which pin? So I five is connected to Zero pin here, so that means this output equals to zero. And in this case, I5 is connected to one pin here, so that means I5 is equals to one here, right? So this is why we have designed the full order using eight cross one multiplexer, and it it does the proper operation for the sum with sum and carry. Okay, so this is how you can design eight cross one multiplexer based sum or full order. in 